Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a ventilated and water resistant box for your PWM or digital speed controller. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. So this is the box I'm going to be using in this project. And then this is my PWM. Now, I previously used this PWM in another project and I'll show you how I connected it inside a different box on a link that I will include in the narrative. So what I'm going to do first with this box is, and I've already set this one up to start working on it, I'm going to take off the cover here and I'm going to flip it over like this and use these holes as a template to drill the holes into the top of my box. So when I'm done with that, I'll go ahead and show you. This is going to be the main piece of this project. It's screen repair tape for a fiberglass screen. So it's made for the outdoors. And this is also waterproof with an adhesive backing. And what gave me the idea for this was we get a lot of rain here. And I had opened up the slider patio door on a rainy day just to get a breeze through the house. So, of course, I got air through the screen. But then what I noticed was the rain was bouncing off the screen and not coming inside. And that's what gave me the idea to see if this would work as a, not a waterproofing, but a water resistant barrier for this PWM so it could also dissipate heat and suck in air on the fan. I finished drilling the holes in the lid and I used a 1 8 inch drill bit and there's no rhyme or reason for it that's just the size I decided to use and you can see that's what the pattern looks like with the holes okay so since I've already drilled out my holes and everything I cut a couple of sections of this repair tape peeling off the cover sheet here and I put one on the front and if I angle it here you can see it and then what I did was on the back side at a 90 degree angle I put the other one not that it's probably going to make that much of a difference but I did it anyways and then also because there's adhesive on the back of these things you want to make sure that your holes are clear so what I did was I just blew on them and it pushed through any leftover adhesive that might be blocking the holes because after all you want those holes to let the heat get out and also suck in fresh air I'm going to do a first test with just the lid and not the PWM remainder of the box just to see if it's going to work so I've got my cup here with some water and I'm going to simulate a splash just like that and I'm gonna leave it sitting on there for just a little bit and when you do have something like this happens of course turn your PWM off and don't rub it dry take something absorbent and just blot it dry like this because if you rub it you might push it through the screen holes so let's see what we got underneath there it's dry so the next thing to do is test it on a live trolling motor with the PWM. Okay, so here's going to be the live test at a very low speed to see if this works. I've got my trolling motor in the upper right hand corner there. You'll be able to see the prop turn and I've got my box with the tape on it. And I'm going to go ahead and start it up and throw some water on it and then just blot it after I turn it off. Okay, it's turning. There's a little bit of water, like it would splash, and you can see it's still going. So what I would do in real life, even though it's sitting there longer than I would like it to be, everything's still going good. I'm going to turn it off, and then I'm going to blot it. So 
just like that. I'm going to turn it back on again. And it looks like everything's working the way it should. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.